everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for the day. Today's workout is broken up into three sections. Section number one is five exercises that use dumbbells. Section number two is five cardio exercises. And section number three is all body weight. So if you have dumbbells, get them out. If not, just follow along with body weight. Let's get started. Exercise number one is a squat to lunge. So if you're doing this with body weight, Hands come up to shoulder height. You're gonna squat down, chest stays lifted, back stays straight. You're gonna step back into a lunge and lift your hands. Or you can do a bicep curl if you're using heavier weights. Step forward, that's one rep. So we're gonna do all right leg stepping first. Here we go. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, I just maxed out on the curls. I'm gonna to switch to 12 pounds. My biceps feel it. <laughs> Fourteen, last one. Fifteen. Okay, so now we get to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to shake out my arms. <laughs> We're going to step back with the left leg this time. We'll see how many curls I could do. Okay, switching to the 12 pounds. Six. 
seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Four more. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Whew. Okay, next we have Romanian deadlifts. So I'm going to go back to the 20 pound weights form for this one. Palms face your body, core pulls in tight, knees can bend slightly, butt reaches backwards. No matter what, your back stays straight. So however far you can comfortably go until you feel a stretch in the back of your legs while your back stays straight. And lift, squeeze the glutes. Okay, here we go. Core pulls in. One, keep the weights close to your body. Okay, next we have man maker burpees. Okay, so I'm going to use the 12s for this one. For this exercise, if you're using the weights, what you're going to do is put your hands around them. If they're big enough that you're not squishing your fingers, otherwise just put your hands in between them and keep them close by. Jump your feet up to plank. You're going to row right, row left. So when you row, your hand comes up next to your rib cage, underneath your shoulder. Now we're going to jump the feet forward, bring them up to shoulder height, jump. And you can jump with them staying at your shoulder, or you can press them up. Listen to your body, make sure your form is correct. That's always number one. So that's one rep.
Is that seven? Nine. Oh, nine. Good lord. Two more, that's 13. exercise we get to work our abs for a minute weighted sprinter so for this one grab one of your dumbbells if you are able to you're gonna hold it in both hands in front of your shoulders elbows stay wide knees are gonna lift and we're gonna lean back and alternate Elbow to me. That's one. That's two. Three. Four. So really turn your body to the side. Five. Controlling the movement from your core. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Last one. Fifteen. Okay, guys, that finishes the weighted section. We're on to the cardio. So for this section, I have my interval timer set for five minutes, five rounds, ten seconds rest, fifty seconds max reps, and we're gonna have. 10 seconds to prep once the bell goes off. Exercise number one is high knees. So running in place. Get those knees high. The higher you lift the knees, the more you're working your abs. Halfway done. Last 15 seconds. Next we have Russian kicks, so sit down, toes, fingers point to your toes, butt lifts, we're going to switch feet in the air, try not to let your butt touch if you need to, it's okay, and this is the alternative. Done. 
Less than 15 seconds. jumps. For this one, lunge position, chest stays lifted. You're going to jump, switch in the air, bring it down. for the chest one at a time. Try and keep the hips low. Keep breathing. Halfway done. Fifteen seconds left. Okay, and finally, X jumps. Poor Chi your jumps. So for this one, feet stay together, hands touch the floor. Jump up, make an X with your body, right back down. section. So now we're moving on to the body weight section. Five exercises. And we get to start in down dog. Okay, so we're going to do down dog at plank. So come to plank. From here, core pulls up, back flattens, right leg is going to lift, you're going to bring it through and across, back, middle, back, staying in plank, same side, back, bring it down, switch, that's one. So down dog split, bring it in, middle, across, split, that's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
eight. That's nine. right so for this one we get to sit on our butts for just a second stretch out those wrists we're gonna get on them again fingers point toward your feet and <clears throat> we'll thrust the right leg first so left leg plant weight in the heel and we're going to lift the hips and press the foot toward the ceiling that's one to the side, reach and extend, and lift up. That's one. So they extend and come up on the other side of your arms. That's 10. Okay guys, final exercise, oblique push-ups. <laughs> so, I'm gonna move my mat down a little bit so I have some space. For this one, you're gonna come into your push-up position. So go into a plank, and then we're gonna switch it up a little bit. So we're gonna alternate feet, right leg steps to the side, you're on the edge of your foot, and push up. Bring it back, cross it over. That was one rep. Keep that core tight. That's five. Eight. 
eight. That's nine. I need to stretch it out for just a second. Ten. So, this was an intense workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, the breakdown will be on my blog, benderfitness.com, along with over 400 other free home workouts, recipes, and tips for healthy living. So, I hope to see you guys there, benderfitness.com. Have a good night, guys.